Climate change. Is it too late? Have you ever wondered what is happening to our environment? Are you seeing the strange effects of climate change on our daily weather? This video talks about how climate change is affecting our planet and what you need to know about this phenomenon. We will break down the following topics about the effects of climate change, the causes of climate change, and how to prepare for it. The future of Earth will be shaped by the decisions we make today, which includes how we manage our natural resources and care for our environment. Climate change will have an impact on everything from food production to water availability. The future of Earth depends on our ability to find ways to work together in order to combat this global problem. What are the primary reasons of our weather to change? Climate change is a change in the Earth's climate. It is caused by many factors, such as human activities, natural phenomena like volcanic eruptions and variations in solar radiation. The Earth's climate has changed throughout the planet's history. In the last century, this warming trend has been attributed to human activities, such as burning fossil fuels and deforestation. Is it too late to stop climate change? Climate change is a big issue that will not go away anytime soon. It has been a problem for decades, but it is only now that we are starting to see the consequences of our actions. There are many different opinions on the subject, with some people believing that it is too late to stop climate change and others who believe that we are still in time to do so. There are many factors contributing to the current state of climate change, but there is no denying that humans have had a major impact on it. There are many reasons for this, such as deforestation and pollution from factories and vehicles. These human-caused changes have led to an increase in CO2 levels which has contributed significantly to climate change. How to stop climate change? Scientists have come up with various ways to combat climate change. One way is by establishing international agreements to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, another way is by developing a carbon tax and other methods that will increase the cost of fossil fuels. Here are some tips on what you can do to help mitigate changes in our climate. Save energy. Much of our electricity and heat is fueled by coal, oil and gas. Use less energy by reducing heating and cooling, switching to energy-efficient light bulbs and appliances, washing clothes in cold water or hanging to dry rather than using a tumble dryer. Use alternative transportation. The streets of the world are packed with vehicles, most of which run on diesel or gasoline. Walking or cycling instead of driving will reduce your greenhouse gas emissions and help your health and well-being. For longer distances, consider taking a train or transport and carpool whenever possible. Eating more vegetables, fruits, whole grains, legumes, nuts and less meat and dairy can significantly reduce your environmental impact. Plant-based food production often leads to reduced greenhouse gas emissions and requires less energy. Think about your trips. Airplanes burn large amounts of fossil fuels, creating significant greenhouse gas emissions. This makes fewer flights one of the fastest ways to reduce your impact on the environment, when you can have a virtual meeting, take a train, or skip that long road trip altogether. Reduce buying new things. The electronics clothing and other items we buy cause carbon emissions at every stage of production, from extracting raw materials to manufacturing and shipping goods to market. To protect our climate, you can buy less buy secondhand or repair and recycle what you can and that's it for today's video if you liked this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more always remember our future depends on what we do today this is four minute videos have a great one